Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is a firewall called DynFi Firewall. Now, it is a fork of OpenSense, which uh, OpenSense was originally a fork of PFSense. And so now we have basically three firewalls built around the same code base. They're all doing things a little differently. Their updates are all a little different. So first of all, let me know in the comments what you think about having a third option. You know, so you've got, you know, PFSense, which was the original fork of Monowall. And then you've got OpenSense that forked from that. And now we've got DynFi. So let's take a look at it because DynFi is doing one thing a little bit differently. So I'll leave a link to this <clears throat> down below. Also, if you're using this already, let me know in the comments how you like it. So you can see from this screenshot over here that they have improved upon the interface a little bit. Um, they do tell you that it is ready for virtualization. Of course, they're all going to have their own marketing, uh, you know, whatevers. DynFi is French, so... Um, We've, we've got that covered where it's where it's from. It says that it's easy to implement. You get all of the same features that you get with OpenSense or PFSense. Uh, they have tried to improve, you know, some of the, of the interface and things like that. One of the things that really attracted me to this, and we're going to install this in the next DynFi uh, video, is that they have a centralized management solution. Now, I know what you're saying. OpenSense also has this. Yes, OpenSense does. But as far as I know, and I could be wrong, the OpenSense version only allows you to manage OpenSense firewalls, whereas the DynFi manager allows you to manage PFSense Community Edition, OpenSense, and DynFi, all from the same location. So they've got a couple screenshots where uh, they've got this really nice looking interface and I was I stumbled on this I can't even remember what I was looking for but you can see you've got all the different firewalls over here on the left hand side you can click into them manage them all from one interface and I think that this kind of satiates that single pane of glass that you're looking for when you're managing these types of firewalls so um, you get access to the administration interface of the firewalls from the manager. You can group things with multi-tenant. Uh, you can change the firewall settings. You get geolocation. You can have multiple administrators. Then you get live or delayed updates for firewalls. You can access the... I'm not sure what access collection creation is. I'm going to have to install this portion of it and try it out. Is anybody using this? Let me know. I mean, I am I'm actually really excited to try this. So I've got a uh, blank Protectly here. It's got nothing on it. We're going to install DynFi on this. So in the next video, we're going to go through downloading, creating the USB uh, and then installing on here. And then uh, we're going to do some, some videos. And then I'm going to load the DynFi manager and we're going to manage some different firewalls. We're going to manage an OpenSense. We're going to manage a DynFi. I don't know if I'll touch PFSense or not. But I thought that this was it was pretty, pretty interesting. So, and they do release, if you go to the, there is a, a place in the forum that they have where you can look at their release notes. So if we go in here, where was it at? Might be under announcements. So like May 24th was their uh, latest release. And it tells you that they fixed an, an issue with OpenSense updates caused by a change in OpenSense reboot script. And so anytime they make a change to the open OpenSense stuff, they tell you that. So, and then they fix some things that OpenSense doesn't fix, right? So it's, it's this weird thing and you have to be, it's so weird. You've got to be more sensitive, you know, than you think when you start talking about, you know, P 
PFSense and then OpenSense and now this, this DynFi because all of these projects, sometimes they get very, very defensive. So let me know what you think about this. I'll leave a link to it down below. Let me know if you're running it already. Let me know if you're running the manager. Let me know how it's working out. Like I said, next video that we do on this is going to be downloading it, creating the ISO, um, and installing it, getting it up and going, which should be the same as OpenSense, which is the same as, as PFSense. And then we're going to install the manager and do some centralized management. So I think that this could definitely change the game for us, for the OpenSense and PFSense installations that we, we manage. Uh, especially if we can manage everything from one place, we can have multi-factor authentication, we can have multiple administrators. I think that it's it's going to be good. And if, if, if I'm missing the, the mark on this and there are other products besides OpenSense's um, centralized management that do this, let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, share, please follow me on Twitter and TikTok down below. If you'd like to support the channel, I do have affiliate links down below and a Patreon link. And as always, if you need IT consulting, if you need, you know, a once over of your PFSense or OpenSense or even your DynFi firewall, if you need consulting for Synology, voice over IP, wireless security, all those things, we can help you out. If we can't help you out, we'll get you to someone who can. Go on over to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. Let me know what you think about this DynFi because we're going to roll with it for a little bit. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.